Hey, how's it going everyone? Mick Ambrose from All About Tech. Welcome to the channel. If you're a new user, welcome to the channel. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back to the channel. Today, um, well, first of all, I hope everyone had a really good weekend. And I can only apologise that this video is a tad late, but I've been at work all weekend, so I've not been able to, um, to do anything. I was just going to record something on my phone, but I wanted to do a proper in-depth analysis of what I'm about to talk about. Um... Today's video is about the Electronium patent that's just been filed. Um, in my opinion, this is a huge deal. And it's, well, considering we're, we're still in a bear market and um, we did see some growth back from Electronium. But it's, in, in, in a few months time, this patent is going to be playing a huge role in not only um, in other cryptos not being able to actually do an instantaneous payment system like Electronium's now, which um, there isn't really many other ways in order to achieve instantaneous payments. So in one of my earlier videos, I think it was my live Richard Ailes Facebook live video um, where he spoke about the instant. He, he like he's been dropping hints and he spoke about it for the first time there and i said in one of my previous videos that i think that the patent will involve this centralized system linking with a decentralized blockchain in order to achieve instantaneous payments and lo and behold it was about that um i'm not trying to sound cocky or anything but it did he did drop hints that that was going to be the case for it. Um, and I'm very happy about this because they are now protected under this. And I'm going to go into some of the points now. So um, I'm only going to cover the patent from the, the huge update that he sent. Um, I'm, going to I'm going to do a couple more videos about the other stuff, but straight into the patent. So the patent is about this hybrid model that they are work working on. They've already started working on it. Um, it's not quite ready to roll out, but they think that they will have a minimum viable product by in the next couple months, which is fantastic. Um, they have, obviously they have their decentralized blockchain, which will only run as fast as there are miners um, keeping the blockchain online. But, by using a centralized app, aka their Electronium app, they can queue transactions that are waiting to be on the blockchain. They can reserve the funds and say, yep, he's got the funds. He can buy this product. We, we, we will queue it onto our system. And then that way, the customer and the vendor are completely happy 100%. And that customer can take home that product buy that service, whatever, instantaneously. Um, it's, it's, this, this is a huge development in cryptocurrency because unless you have literally a huge, huge, huge amount of mining power on your blockchain, you will never get instantaneous payments. There will always be some sort of delay. If you look at Visa and MasterCard, even when you use a credit card or whatever, you pop in your PIN and you're still waiting to connect to the server. It, it's not, it's still, it's te it only takes seconds, but it's still technically not instantaneous. As soon as you send some Electronium, it is instantly updated on their app. It reserves the funds and... This this is the kind of development that that well cryptocurrency needs in order to go forward as a viable option for um for means of transactions, um. So that's absolutely fantastic. Um, as of yet, no cryptocurrency has instant payments. Some cryptocurrencies are extremely fast, but none are instant. And unless they're instant, vendors and companies can't. They physically can't see them as a viable option because their time is precious. So they can't be waiting minutes or hours for a crypto payment to go through. Even like a minute can be considered too long. Because if you add up 
thousands of minutes for all of these transactions going through, it adds up an, um, uh, an, an appropriate amount of time. And that is just not a viable option. Um, so that's one reason why this payment system is absolutely crucial. And now it's protected, which is fantastic. Wait, where to go Electronium for protecting this system? Because it is a very... This, this is huge for cryptocurrency in general. Because it, it shows developments are being made and that whilst blockchain technology is an amazing concept and more and more, in a few years, blockchain technology is going to be used widely around the world for all sorts of services. But to have another system backing it up to improve it is 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 what, what, what it needs, really. Um... Alone, it's a good piece of tech. Working together with other tech only makes it better. So, um, let me go into my next point. I've written the points down here, so hopefully I'm not going to be erming and, and all the time. Um, a couple mobile operators are going to get this first because they are further along in the process of integration. So, expect new partnerships and deals to be announced i'll probably say within the next four to f four to six weeks i'd say um don't expect partnerships to be met to, to be announced literally within a week of this patent coming out because the mobile operators aren't going to want to announce this until the minimum viable product or service is is almost ready to launch and that they've 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 had a little look at it um, because they don't want to be announcing something and then for there to be an, a, a delay or something, because delays do happen. Um, not saying that it will happen here, but delays do happen, unfortunately, if there's a bug that, they, that needs tweaking, etc. Et so um, expect new partnerships and deals to be announced within the next four to six weeks, I'd say. So just just be patient with that. And... And also, don't expect the price to just skyrocket now because they've filed a patent. The patent is pending. And until we see this, this live and in use, once that starts happening, see how valuable um, Electronium as an asset grows. Because once it is being used, that is when you see the value of something. Um... The next point I want to make is that they've not only included just that in their patent, which a lot of companies would just do that and leave it as it is, but the whole point is of a patent is to protect as much as possible and pre and prevent the um, the competition from bringing out anything similar. So they have to cram. They've done like a hundred pages for this patent and. That's the whole point. You have to cram so much into a patent to protect because there's no point just protecting what you are doing. You need to protect anything that's similar to it as well. And the next point is 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 a good thing for it as well. And that is subscriptions. So how many people watching now have either a Netflix account Amazon Prime, Spotify, Apple Music, um, phone insurance maybe, any sort of small monthly bill, Xbox Live, PlayStation Network, Nintendo Switch are going to be doing their monthly subscription soon. So, in the last sort of two to three years... The amount of available subscription-based payments for services has risen dramatically. And it's, it's, it's a really easy way for customers to be able to manage their finances in terms of, of, of paying for services that they, that they, that they feel that they, that they enjoy and need. So the, this patent also covers subscriptions which is a first in cryptocurrency. This is important 
because of the fact that now nobody else can do it. And by Electronium looking to go into the game market, they can use subscription-based payments directly from their app. And what's really good about this is that you can they will have a like a web interface that you can manage your your subscription based payments where you can you can manage you can, well you you can manage them by cancelling them and, and 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 anything else that you might need to do edit edit them um take a break from them and think of that just like how you set up a direct debit with your bank you set up a direct debit it then comes out every month and this is why having two decimal places is crucial for for a cryptocurrency because imagine trying to um not in it with like fluctuating prices so with the subscription based things you can have it one of two ways you can have it either a set amount of electronium per month or a set fiat amount so like five dollars a month or five pounds a month or five euros a month converted into electronium and if you were doing that with bitcoin users that don't that aren't as tech savvy and are used to a two decimal placed system they're going to think all right so it's 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 five dollars a month in bitcoin that's zero point zero 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 three four six or or something along those lines and it's that's just not a viable option it it doesn't look good it it just looks like an unorganized way it just looks like an unorganized crypt an unorganized currency um so having that two decimal places is crucial because you can either either set it as so and so amount of electronium that's easy to read or a certain amount of fiat which converted, it's easy to convert because it's only two decimal places and it's easy to read. That's the whole point. It's easy. So um, in terms of subscriptions, that's absolutely fantastic. Let me turn the page. I've not got much left, I promise. <laughs> um, the, the third point, and this to me, we was not expecting this at all, but this just shows how from a marketing concept just how important marketing is to get a cryptocurrency out there and that is the fact that they have patented the ability to use other cryptocurrencies with their system so even if companies choose to accept bitcoin will actually Electronium now, because of their centralized system, Bitcoin might not have instantaneous payments. But it's not the blockchain that, that achieves the instantaneous payments. It's that centralized app which Electronium can integrate any cryptocurrency they want. And then say, OK, well, we, we can just link it to our centralized system as well. And boom, you have instantaneous Bitcoin transactions, you have instantaneous Ethereum transactions, you have instantaneous Litecoin transactions, you have instantaneous Monero transactions. So they can take any cryptocurrency and make the payment instantaneous. That is... What, what more can I say about that? For all those that have doubted Electronia up until now, look at that little detail that they've put in where they thought about other cryptocurrencies and they're using their popularity to leverage Electronium as a brand. And that is, from a marketing concept, that is genius. And that's why I keep saying that marketing, cryptocurrency is at a crucial stage right now where it's slowly coming into the market. At the moment, still, only about 1%, if that, of the world's population are into cryptocurrency. But by leveraging the fact that they can add any cryptocurrency to their system, they can leverage Electronium as a brand and get it out there to the masses using their other marketing techniques. And that is how you get a cryptocurrency mass adopted. And that is 
in my opinion, the smartest part of this patent. Because it's all good having the tech out there, but if you can't get it to the users, then what's the point? Or if you get it to the users too late and there's already a system that works. Using other cryptocurrencies as leverage to leverage your own cryptocurrency's popularity. It's... That to me, when I read that part of the email, it is... I was, I was, I was gobsmacked because I wasn't expecting it. But you read it and... It's just, well, I'm speechless. <laughs> so that's really all I have to talk about about the patent. It, it was a long email. Um, I think I covered everything within within that within the patent. Two decimal places being important. Levering Ethereum as a brand for other other cryptos. I can't emphasize how important patenting the use of other cryptocurrencies is. Because, like I said, being able to integrate Bitcoin, Ethereum, all all these cryptocurrencies that already have millions of users. And then being able to use those and then promote your own brand in the process. I mean, obviously, they want to put their Electronium brand out there first, but they've now times their their user reach te hundredfold because you always have people that are that you you choose a cryptocurrency and then you're loyal to that cryptocurrency and they can use that to their advantage now so if you like this video give it a like subscribe to the channel i'm sorry that this analysis came late but i assure you you will not be disappointed with this video I feel like I went into quite some nice detail there, especially at the end there. <laughs> but um, yeah, like like the video, subscribe to the channel. I hit over 800 subs over this weekend, so let's let's get to a thousand. Um, I have a couple videos that are currently in the works that will be absolutely huge in terms of exclusivity for YouTube. Um, I can't really drop any details of what those videos will. Um, entail at the moment but I can assure you that it will be a first within within this space anyway so um, so su subscribe to keep up to date on that I'm working hard to make sure that that happens soon um, but yeah like I said it, it, it will take time to um, to be able to organize it all and stuff obviously being busy with um with with college and work full-time and and another separate qualification that I'm doing. It's just it's just a bit overwhelming at the moment. But I'm trying to get the content out to you guys. So I'll check you guys out in the next video. Subscribe to the channel. And enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.